Oh, hello, Internet. Oh, hi, Mark. It's your good old friend, Lumberjed. Oh, so you're not called Mark. It's my new nickname I'm trying to make catch on, but it's probably not going to happen. So, it wasn't even your most recent username? Oh. So I'm driving right now, so it might be kind of loud. Might be, uh, sound like, you know, wind, cars. I don't drive. But I have to say that I think you should be looking at the road rather than making a video. I think it would be a lot safer if you were to do so in the safety and comfort of your own home. But then again, most accidents do occur in the in the home. So, be careful. Be really careful of accidents, mate. Anyways, there's just something on my mind I want to talk about. And that is video game surprise. Way well. I hope it's not the same old shit we get from Social Justice Warriors. I mean, this is my channel. Place any bets? Place any bets, anyone? But, uh, I've noticed recently, and by recently I mean since the beginning of time. Video games were not around at the dawn of time. They weren't even around at the dawn of man. Video games, depending on how you view history, have been around since the 1950s. Possibly the 1960s. For sure, the first true video game was Pong in the early 1970s. Uh, to say that it was the beginning of time is a flawed position to start from. And also, you're being one of those silly literal types, aren't you? Video game characters, at least the leads, are almost always white dudes, like in their 30s. And recently it's been white dudes and with guns, usually with muscles, short hair, like like a Commander Shepard, and then look at like... Well, firstly, you've made a several key mistakes, but let's start with the first mistake. One, you've just said that recently in video games, all the protagonists have been white dudes. Well, if you were to go to Japan, you'd find that all the protagonists are Japanese. If you were to, say, go to... I don't know, Korea. They'd all be Korean. If you go to any country that has a games industry, you'll find that most of these games will be uh, reflecting the society of which they live in. So, you live in a mostly white society. I also live in a mostly white society. Therefore, the games will be reflecting society. Art imitates life, not the other way around. So, most of the protagonists are going to be white. And your second mistake is to use Commander Shepard. Commander Shepard can also be a woman. He can also be any colour that you'd so desire. Besides, the the base person for Commander Shepard, he's not the whitest looking guy. Besides, it's canonically true that the human race is actually intermixed in Mass Effect's universe. This is the future after all, and this is 150 odd years into the future. So, I guess that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Even the uh, persons of colour in the uh, Mass Effect universe aren't necessarily pedigree, to put it very, very horribly. But, you know, everyone's mixed race in the, in the Mass Effect universe. So, that's your third, second mistake. Yeah, your third mistake, actually, is the fact that they are all got guns. And they've all got hair, they've all got muscles. I wouldn't say... Commander Shepard is the most muscular of heroes. He's kind of just your standard, typical military bro. I mean, to be honest, you'd be hard-pressed to find a lot of video game protagonists who are actually human. It's like a 50-50 split between anthropomorphic things, robots, and humans. Every character around him that looks very similar. Now, one could reasonably assume that he's talking about the characters within the games that apparently look like Commander Shepard, but he's not. He's saying that other video game characters in other video games look a lot like Commander Shepard, and this couldn't be far from the truth. In fact, this doesn't help his argument. In fact, this is rather counterproductive because nobody looks like Commander Shepard. Nobody. Commander Shepard can be a man, a woman, it can be more whiter, it can be more darker, it can be blacker, it can be browner, he can, I don't, well... I would say he could be greyer, but they don't go to Saints Row level uh, for customization. But to say that Commander Shepard looks more like every other protagonist, bear in mind not all protagonists are human. 
or don't even have a gender. It's it's so generalizing and stupid. I don't even know where to start. Like yeah, he has a recognizable face because he's been in three games, you know, and all over the internet. But for the most part, there's a lot of like space marine, thirty-something-year-old, stubbly, short-haired guys with guns. Kratos is bald and doesn't use guns. He uses a uh, kind of magic Greek god, demigod type blades and shit and whips. Oh, speaking of whips, the Castleva Castlevania. Uh, Rickard is his name? I can't remember his name now. Rick Richter, that's it, Richter. He uses a whip. He doesn't use guns. Also, you can barely tell what he looks like. And I, if I can remember correctly after what playing the beginning of Castlevania Symphony of the Night, he has long hair and the bandana. Oh, and let's not forget all the other uh, protagonists with guns, like the recent uh, Mafia 3 protagonist, who is part black, part white. Who has a gun, yes, but it's a magnum, like Dirty Harry. Lara Croft is a woman who uses guns. Uh, Mirror's Edge, uh, Faith uses hand-to-hand -hand combat and occasionally guns, but that's not what you're supposed to use. You just steal them, use them, discard them when they run out of ammo because she doesn't know how to reload. Uh, Samus uses laser guns, decked out fully in power armor. And she's got long hair and blonde. That is blonde. Uh, what else? Oh, oh yes, of course. Uh, for other white people, I would suggest you look at Master Chief. In fact, you don't even know if he's white. He could be black in there, he could be brown in there, you don't know, do you? He uses guns, but we don't know what he looks like. Stop generalising, because all it's showing is you don't have a clue what you're talking about. And it's to the point now where I think myself and a lot of my friends, I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that feel this way, that when a game is announced, like you see a game trailer, like I remember specifically this year at E3, I'm watching game trailers and you know, they start off all mysterious, mysterious excuse me, and uh, you're like, oh man, what's this game about? And then there's the lead character, white dude. Good looking white dude, cisgendered, normal white dude. Like, how many stories can you tell of the white dude? All of them, apparently. So basically, you, is that what we're talking about? Cisgendered, uh, quote unquote, normal white guy. I'm, I, I hesitate to say good looking, but basically, you. We're talking about people who look like you, you know, the core demographic of games and the market that mostly buys games? How is that a bad thing? Is it tried and tested? Is it used too much? Maybe, but you, our countries are mainly white and our gaming audience is mainly white and male and that is not because of racism and because of patriarchy. It's just the way the demographics have worked out. It's a natural process. Gaming has already been has always been a diverse place, otherwise me and my dad wouldn't be gamers. Otherwise, you know, all the female gamers who have who are successful on YouTube wouldn't be gamers. Why would they not why would the companies not be advertising their consoles to the whole family? Why would they not why would they not do that if they weren't already there? In fact, games are becoming more diverse. And that's been a natural process since the 80s. Since we've been able to fully craft what a person actually looks like. Besides, you're saying that all games, but you're actually talking about this through an American perspective. You're not looking at it through a worldwide perspective. Where not ev every game has American white dudes in it. What about CD Projekt Red? They're Polish. Do they count? Or is it just because they're white? Because of The Witcher, you know? Geralt, does he, does he not count? Because they're not American. Or, again, pick any Japanese or Korean game. They're not white. Anime characters may look white, but they're not meant to be. They're meant to be Japanese. Sure, this is an incredibly biased perspective. And it, this is the same kind of pattern that we see over and over again with you social justice warriors. 
you're all American, you all see the world through an American lens, and you all complain about why the world says that you guys only think the world is America. Well, you're living proof of that. Every single academic report about games is from a biased American perspective, let alone a biased feminist social justice perspective. And this is counterproductive to you guys, because it's not how the gaming industry is worldwide. That's only what it's like within the American industry. And the American industry, as well as the Japanese and, to a lesser extent, the British and other European uh, companies, are the biggest. And then, apart from Japan, mostly white. Therefore, we're going to see mostly white protagonists. It's because, you know, quite frankly, people like me are a minority. I'm only apparently 2% of the, my, of the population in my country. As weird as that may seem, considering there's quite a lot of mixed race people in, in the UK. But, that's what it is. And I've not got a problem with that. And, now that I'm saying that, you know, games need to shoehorn in, or, you know, have to not have a white guy. Just... Are there, like, thousands of stories that can be told without these guys, just white guys? Isn't there, like, just tons of stories you can tell? I have literally just give you examples of those types of stories. And what does that even mean? What, what, what kind of stupidity is this? On the one hand, you're saying, I don't want to force people, yet you want people to do what you want them to do. You're as bad as any other social justice warrior. God, I've had two people now this week who have been trying to force developers and artists and writers to cater to their needs. Why are you so against people like yourself? Why are you so against other white people? Why is being a white man such a bad thing? Why is putting them in literature such a bad thing? Why is them writing literature such a bad thing? What the hell? I mean, go and play a Japanese game. Go play a Korean game. Go play a Polish game. Oh, wait, a Polish game. They're all white over there, so that would just piss you off, wouldn't it? I mean, it's another culture. We speak a totally different language to you. Yeah, they probably don't count because they have games with mostly white protagonists. You mean, I could just, you know, tell you to go play a British game, a French game, or an Italian game, or German game. But, they're also mostly white, and you would also kind of scoff at them, so there's really no point. Just by having to start with that character, and then develop the story around it. What? That's not how you make a game. When games do try that, it very rarely succeeds. I mean, look at the most recent Bioware games. They've tried to base their games around characters who are from a social justice perspective, and they failed miserably. Although, I don't think that's the main problem. I don't think the characters are the main problem here. I mainly think it's the fact that Bioware have got into a bit of a shit run of form. You know, Mass Effect 3's only issues were not just the plot and the characters. There were other shit, especially it's, you know, it's dated graphics and the gameplay wasn't the best of the series. Although, to be fair, it was probably a good game up until those couple of minutes and once you really get into it but I digress that's not how you make a great game okay that's not uh, character based games very rarely work you know if but if you want games like that go and get some interactive fiction go play life is strange go play I don't know the walking dead which is prob probably the best of all those games go play them they are around there is a market for them they don't all work just go out, go play any Bioware game, go play any of those games that I just mentioned, rather than demand more games, okay? Those games are, all, are being made right now. Hell, go make your own game. Start with a black female. Make her whatever. A black female astronaut. She's in space. And she's fighting aliens. That, uh, are aliens. And she's fighting them. That's it! That's all you gotta do! It's not that hard! You just take something, and you put them there. You put that kind of character there, and you just do it. DO IT! JUST DO IT! JUST DO IT! JUST DO IT! DO IT! JUST DO IT!
Just do it! Fuck you, Lewis Lovo, for doing it first. So instead, I had to do all of Just Do It. So I made a compilation. But to answer the man's question, to answer his uh, call for more black women in astronaut uniform fighting aliens, people will do that. People can do it, but they choose not to. Are you suggesting that we basically, you know, take away their freedom of choice and say, we want to make these games, you have to make these games, and you can't make any of these games if they've got white men in them, because we don't like white men. We don't like ourselves. That's what you're saying, you know? And that's stupid. Incredibly stupid. Like, you can literally... Oh, I'm driving, by the way, it's my GPS. No shit. You know I'm driving, clearly you can see that. Yes, I can. But it's not hard. And there's just so many characters that you could use and have them more than just like a lame sidekick or anything. So you think the only job that minority characters can serve is that of the needless sidekick? Jesus Christ, you know less about games than I thought. Like, I don't know. Literally, I just don't know. Put in like a trans woman. An independent trans woman who runs a city and beats up criminals. An independent trans woman who don't need no man, woman, or other trans person. Who runs a city and beats up people. The stupidity of this video has just jumped the shark. It has now reached full Macintosh. Well done, sir. Well done. I mean, you truly have a future in gaming development. Did EA ever thought about, you know, hiring you as a writer? I think you should probably get in touch with them. Just anything. And the moment I see a game announced that has like a female lead or a lead that's just not a straight up white dude with a gun, I get excited. So despite the fact that games have had a long history of having women in the leads, Apparently this is such a rare occurrence to you that when you see one you get really excited. You know what? I get the feeling that you're not actually a gamer and that you've, to you, games have only really been around since like 2004. You know, it's in 10 years, so like, to you there's not a lot of women when really there's like 30 years of history of, of like female leads in games and they're always being made. Like every E3 there is a female protagonist. You know? I get the feeling you don't know where to look. Or you're just ignoring the fact that Lara Croft and Samus have been around for 30 and 20 years respectfully. Like, you don't care that Remember Me came out. You don't care that Life is Strange came out. You just think games with female leads are so rare that when you see one, they're exciting. Why are you excited? They're as bog-standardly common as seeing the bog standard white protagonist what the hell and besides most of the women are white but you don't seem to have a problem with white women considering they're technically the most privileged class in the world in order of the mile, exit to the right. did you not think to turn that thing on silent you idiot like, try, like, five, I and like i said there's nothing god damn it turn it off mate turn it off just do it nothing wrong with having a white dude with a gun there's nothing wrong you're allowed to do that it's just it's been done so much that i'm getting bored of it well fuck off then and play other games go and play more japanese games i keep repeating myself go play more foreign games that don't have as much white people in it i'm sorry for you being born in a country with most mostly white people who cater to a mostly a white audience despite the fact that there are of course people like me in it but they do cater to me too Mafia 3, for example. What else? Oh, yeah, Assassin's Creed 3 has a part Native American, part American. Well, actually, no, he's part English. Part Welsh, Welsh slash English guy. But that doesn't matter. That That's just getting into the nitty gritty. There are loads of games you can get. But I don't think you know of these games. Or particularly care. You just want something to complain about. You want uh, the vast majority of AAA game developers to cater to your specific needs. And no, we don't need to cater to you, and neither does the gaming community need to put up with people like you as well. Like, the fact that I get excited because you can play as female Spartans in Halo 4 should say something. What a shit example again.
again. So what if you can play fe as female Spartans in multiplayer? It doesn't help the fact that the series hasn't actually been at its best since the second game. And look, Call of Duty also has the option of female soldiers. It doesn't help the fact that the PC community dies, or is dead, nearly every time a new one comes out. It doesn't help the fact that the game is rubbish. None of these proposals that you want will help gaming become better. How do you know that? Crap games are always being made. It doesn't matter who's in it. It doesn't matter what demographic is represented. The games are not necessarily going to be good. And the fact that they made a big deal about it, or there was a big deal made about female soldiers finally being included in Call of Duty, should say something as well. The only thing it says is that you guys are always making a big deal out of gender and politics and everything in between. You always make a big deal out of these things. In the, in the real world, in an ideal world, I should really say, most people don't give a shit about these things. If you're so obsessed with gender and race, go buy a game that caters to your needs. They're out there. Some of them are rubbish, but at least they'll cater to you. At least you'll be satisfied. Oh wait, no you won't. You see, the only people who made a big deal out of that were you. True gamers didn't care. Besides, most gamers tend not to play as female soldiers. Hell, 11% of gamers only played as Femshep. And a lot was made out of Femshep, you know. Like, she was always the one that people loved the most, yet most people played Commander Shepard as a male. And most people didn't even customise him. Most people played the base template. That says a lot. Jesus Christ. I told you before, turn it off! So, I'm also chewing this gum. Now, you just went full retard. It's root beer float flavored. It makes no sense that this would be a gum. But here I am, chewing it. Were we not discussing white protagonists in video games and why you hate your fellow white man white man you know why because i like things that are different i like differences i like variety i like variety is the spice of life right well yes yes it may be the spice of life that doesn't mean it's effective quality control that does not mean that these games no matter how diverse they are will be good case in point mass effect fucking Three. And I like variety in my games and in my gum. And I plan on trying to help change this, the way we see it in the characters. Working on a project, I don't want to talk about it too much, but my goal with the project is to promote inclusivity and diversity in gaming. Oh, those fucking buzzwords. You see, you always claim to want to to fight for inclusivity and diversity in gaming, yet why do you guys continuously tell us whenever we all get together and celebrate gaming culture and the variety of cultures within gaming culture that we can't, you know, be, say, mixed race people and write about white or black people? No, we only have to talk about mulattoes and write about mulattoes and make mulatto characters. And you have to be white and only create white people and black people can only make black people. Isn't that just counterproductive to inclusivity and diversity? You know, s cultural appropriation and safe spaces. Wouldn't it all be better if we actually, you know, remain as we were before you guys came in trying to change everything? Because, you know, the gaming community was chugging along nicely, being friendly. Sure, we shitpost a lot on the internet. Sure, we sh shit talk a lot on multiplayer. But that's just part and parcel of being a competitive species, you know? We like competition. We like to shit post. We like to shit talk. But most importantly, we like each other. We don't care if you're white or black. We can't even tell. Most of the time, we don't even know what you look like over the internet. We can only hear a voice. And we don't care what skin colour that voice is. We just care about poning them and calling them a fucking noob. That's all we care about. You guys only care about race and gender and trying to put us all into 
pigeonholed boxes where we're just statistics to you guys where you can be free to practice your ironic hatred and stupid bigotry to your heart's content well basically calling all of us the hateful bigots and crying the victim to the media well I'm not having it and what's funny is how come it's always people like you white neck bearded men who are always complaining about other white neck bearded men and calling MRAs that you are the spitting image of that stereotype I'm not surprised if you've got a fedora in the back of your hat car somewhere. I would not be surprised at all. You guys are textbook hypocrites. You guys couldn't give a shit about inclusivity and fucking diversity in gaming. Your game is going to be fucking shit. Because every time a game has a social justice agenda, it fucking sucks. It's 100% proof it's got a great track record of being utterly shy and i am fucking sick of you people constantly invading people's communities and being toxic and poisoning it and destroying these communities from within the atheist community has never recovered from you people's atheist plus and free thoughts blogs bullshit so don't sit in your fucking car with your fucking stupid gps system mouthing off over you when you should have turned it off and been following the directions but wait you probably can't follow the directions because your cognitive abilities can only go so far you need a person talking to you in order to direct you you need to shut up and leave gaming have your own little gaming space but don't come to our space yeah i'm using your terms because it's past, past the point now of being tolerant towards you guys i guess this is why I, I talk about you guys a lot and not the right wing but don't worry that is coming very soon you guys are a disgrace you guys are annoying i was trying to be calm with you and humorous but now you set me off you twat oh god next clip and get people talking about it and hopefully you know make some change like i don't think i'm the number one you know magic fixer or anything we can all agree on something there can't we mate but i think i can cause a discussion and that's a discussion that needs to be had ah yes a discussion where all opposing views are blocked by the twitter block or by any means necessary where the people who don't agree with you, are silenced, and you guys can go mouth off to everyone else about how gamers are racist, sexist, bigoted, horrible neckbeards, and who are also white, by the way, and they're really hateful. Yeah, and video games are hateful. Video games cause violence. Video games cause sexism. Video games are horrible, you know. Really, we should be changing video games to suit our standards, really. Yeah, yeah. That's why. That's the kind of discussion you want. Anyways, I'm almost there, so see you later. <sighs> At least he's gone now. At least I don't have to do this clip anymore. And I said all that's needed to be said. I have said this time and time again. These people will not change gaming. No matter how hard they try, their products are shit. Their views are bigoted, ironically speaking. And what's even more ironic is we've got bearded white guys with short hair. Uh, complaining about bearded white guys with short hair who don't actually exist. So, I don't know what else to say. This has been Charmyman93. Like and share the video. Subscribe to my channel. And I will see you later. Oh, as an addendum to that. Only two more people to subscribe. Two more people. If you want to see the live stream. All I've got to do is uh, organise it. And we'll be good to go. So, if you are two people who love what I do, please subscribe so you get to see me take down my first ever response. Until next time, adios.